Hi everybody, welcome back. It's been a while, hasn't it? In today's video, I'll be making a balance board out of offcuts of birch plywood. However, the real subject is how I generate G-code files in Vectric Aspire and send them to my work B through the magic of Wi-Fi. First, I'm going to show you a few of my favourite tools in Aspire, like the Create Fillet tool. This allows me to create enough clearance for the rockers to fit the board without having to chisel out the round corners that have been left behind by the end mill. So, the board looks good, but let's add a little bit of grip on the top surface. Here I'm creating an offset vector and I'll use the interactive trim tool to refine where I want to add the texture. Once I'm happy with the offset that I've just created, I'm going to use the Create Vector tool. This will make me a pattern that I can engrave with a 60 degree V-bit just to add a little bit more grip to the top surface. I'm going to come back in the game with the interactive vector trim and clean up the pockets. As this board's going to be for my son, I'm going to just add his name onto the top for a little bit more customization and personalization. Before I generate any toolpaths I'll have a little preview of them just to make sure they're good for the purposes of what I need.
here you can see I have put all the toolpaths that I use the same bit into one file. Over on the WorkB control software I open up the file management tab and then hit the upload g-code button. I'll select the files that I want to cut and then press open. To run the job, I'll first home my CNC machine, set the work XY0, and then go back to the jobs tab, double click the file, and select the yes button. And that's pretty much all there is to it. I hope you've enjoyed this video and would like to express my gratitude for watching and sticking with my channel while I took a break.